This is the board we've been working with for the record uh, playback controller and you can see that I brought the controls out onto a piece of plexiglass and here's another uh, implementation of that where the plexiglass has been mounted on top of a project box and the board has been mounted inside. I brought the heat sink out through the back. Uh, power comes in here. There's an on off switch. And this is the potentiometer that controls the speed of the trolley. If you turn it clockwise or to the right it goes fast faster and faster forward. If you turn it to the left or counterclockwise it goes faster and faster backwards. Uh, the record playback switch determines whether you're going to record a session or playback. Uh, the stop block button activates the relay which kills power to a section of track that's uh, between these two screws on the platform so that you can resynchronize the position of the trolley uh, each time you run it. Okay, let's give it a try. We're going to fire it up. We're on record. We're going to turn the pot a little bit to the right, get the trolley started, and while it's starting up, I'll zoom out so you can see a little better. And as it approaches the top of the hill, I'll slow it down and stop it. Now notice it's right in the middle of the top of the hill. I'll bring it to the bottom of the hill. I'm going to stop it right about there. Let's back it up once, bring it the whole way around. Pretend we forgot a passenger way back here. Okay, and then back up again. I'm going to hit the stop block button because we're only going to run it around once this time. You could run it around 10 or 15 times, that's no problem. And as we approach that stop block, I'm going to slow down. And when it hit that last uh, section of cut track, it stopped. I like to let it run forward just for two or three or four seconds before I shut it down and flip it over to play. That allows the trolley to get into the stop block even if it gets a little bit out of sequence. Okay, let's see how this repeated uh, run goes. You may recall our first stop was pretty much in the center of the, uh, the top, and that's pretty close. It's a little bit beyond. Uh, the next one was down at the bottom, and then we backed up. So it's fairly repeatable. What you're going to find is that if the trolley is at roughly the same temperature, in other words, has been run about the same amount, um, when you play it back as it was when you recorded. It'll be fairly repeatable. By the way, it's going to stop when it comes into that stop block. The uh, relay just clicked. There it's going to stop. And it's going to pause for a couple of seconds. And it'll start that sequence over again. Uh, the things that, uh, that make it not as repeatable as you would like is that all of the recording is based on time. It's taking 50 readings per second and it's playing back that exact same uh, speed uh, on the playback but as I mentioned as the trolley heats up or cools down its speed uh, based on a particular voltage will change. The power supply can heat up and change its voltage as time goes by. Uh, the track can become cleaner or less clean over time. But it is fairly repeatable, particularly with that stop block. Uh, you see it's off a couple of inches uh, on stopping at the bottom there. And it's going to come around one more time. And of course, this would go on forever and ever. And as long as you leave power, it'll continue to repeat that sequence. And as it approaches the stop block, it's going to stop for this second time. And so are we.